Storm Tracker 22 forecast, certified most accurate by Weather 8. Welcome back to WJCL 22 News this morning. We are still tracking lots of activity in the tropics. We've got Hurricane Nigel, which is on its way to weakening into a post tropical cyclone. It's experiencing some of those cooler sea surface temperatures, not a lot of moisture in the air and a lot of that vertical wind shear. So all of that combining is really helping it to start to weaken as it makes its way north. We are also tracking two other areas of interest in the tropics. We've got this first area here. It is a tropical wave that has moved off the coast of Africa. Now it's going to continue to push west does have a 70% chance of development over the next seven days. We are also tracking another area that is right off of our coastline. The tropical wave, though, could become our next tropical depression. So we're, we're going to continue to watch that as we head into this weekend. Speaking of the area just off of our coast, we could see that non tropical low start to form. And then what we are really watching is this is going to bring us some very gusty winds tomorrow, especially for coastal Georgia. The low country could see some of the outer bands of this storm, could see a little bit of rain, those coastal showers moving north. And then this is going to continue to develop, could see some of those subtropical characteristics as it continues to move north. All of the rain, though, looks to be north of us tomorrow as we look at this future cast. We can see that there's all that heavy rain hitting the coast of North Carolina and the northern coast of South Carolina. But again, we could be seeing some of these gusty winds tomorrow.